and a pleasant good morning to all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rock and even the guy that's in the office with the Bob Marley's poster. All right. Pleasant good morning to you, Alan. Pleasant good morning to you, Adam. How are you good doing? Good morning, my brother. Good morning. How's everything this morning? A wet morning, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's, listen, you can't have uh, sunshine every day, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it. But it's Thursday, it's uh, weekend eve, and uh, we're almost through this week. Very exciting. And hopefully everybody out there listening right now on 93.5 FM or, or Facebook uh, has had a good week, is feeling good, um, and has enjoyed, you know, the content that we put out there. Uh, over the past four days, you know, we do this show every weekday morning at 930. We call it Cruising with the Case Handler. It's a show by attorneys for you just to let you know who we are, what we do and how we do it. Uh, we also like to give out our phone number. We also like to push our social media presence just so you can really be connected to our law firm. And, and most importantly, out for those immigrants out there, or the family of immigrants out there, um, you should know that this is a firm that focuses on the immigrant community and it's certainly given back uh, to the community that's embraced us for so many years. And one way we're giving back is by giving 100% free initial phone consultations with respect to immigration. Uh, that means if you have an immigration question, all you have to do is call 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. Um, and we'll set up that initial phone consultation for free uh, for you, just to let you know where you stand and whether or not we'll be able to help you. Um, with me today is Alan Kay, uh, the senior, most senior uh, immigration attorney at our firm, Alexandra Bondikoff, we call her the boss lady. Um, her primary area of practice in immigration is, is employment-based immigration, correct? Excellent. Uh, I, of course, am Adam Handler, your case handler. Uh, I am the personal injury partner here at the firm, I'm personally responsible for obtaining over $130 million for my clients, $20 million last year, $25 million the year before. We do some exceptional things here at the firm. But again, it's all about knowing who we are and how to be connected to us. And I'll give out that phone number a couple of times. I'm hopefully, hoping you're going to dial it and either store it in your phone or let it ring and let somebody pick up and say, hey, I want that free uh, immigration consultation. Our phone number is 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Or again, easy to remember, 844-PPID law. PPID are the initials of our firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. I'm down with PPID. I've been a partner of this firm for over six years. Alan's down with PPID. Alexandra's down with PPID. Squeeze, I don't even ask him anymore, is down with PPID. I guess the question, ladies and gentlemen, we have for you is, are you down with PPID? And if you're down with PPID, you're going to call that number, 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it. Cruising with a case handler, a show on... Uh, personal injury and immigration, the man that you just heard from is one of the top personal injury attorneys in the nation and obviously in the New York, New Jersey area and has really done wonders for a people. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to the immigration side now. Later on, we'll come back with Adam Handler, who will actually demonstrate by way of true success stories what it is that he has done over the past 15 years in getting large sums of money for people who have gotten hurt in accidents and sometimes some small sums, but mostly from what I see, large sums. Like, hey, listen, not every case is a million dollar case, um, you know, but that's always a good thing. You know, I say to my client, yes, the good news is you don't have a million dollar. No, the bad news is you don't have a million dollar case. The good news is you don't have a million dollar case because when you got a million dollar case, uh, you got big problems. And what's the problems? You've got terrible injuries, oh, okay. treatment, outstanding medical bills, surgery. I mean, no, you don't want you don't want a million dollar case. You certainly don't want a five million dollar case. But if you do get hurt real bad, you do want a five million dollar case. Hundred percent, you want what's owed to you. Yeah. But again, I don't wish a five million dollar case on my worst enemy. That means, you know, my $5 million case was a, a fall from 20 feet, a fractured skull, a traumatic brain injury, a stroke, and two surgeries. Uh, who, who the hell wants that? But 
you are right, Squeeze. If God forbid that happens to you, you want an attorney that's going to fight and get you that $5 million. There you go. Just wanted to clear that up with you, Mr. Adam Handler, Mr. Third Generation Personal Injury Attorney, Mr. Hot Stepper, Mr. Beast, Mr. Shark. Today's name is Mr. Money Man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, they're with a firm called Paula Pollock, Isaac, and Nisiko. And uh, remember, dial this number right now. The best thing I can do for everybody every day is, you know, is to give it a phone number. The phone number is 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I'm just a navigator here. They are truly the stars, all right? And uh, let's say a pleasant good morning to Alexandra Bondakov, one of the top attorneys at the firm. She's in the immigration capacity. How are you doing today, Alexandra? Good morning. I'm well. It's a blessing to have you here. And let's go to, of course, the stalwart, the general, okay? Man who has been doing immigration law for decades, maybe um, longer than I have been alive. And his name is Alan E.K. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get better than him when it comes to attorneys doing immigration. He's got that depth, he's got that experience, he's got the knowledge, he's got the links. Alan E.K. is with the firm PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. Remember to call them, get that free phone consultation. If you would like a free phone consultation, call them before the top of the hour at 10, 10 a.m. rather, and make sure you book that consultation by way of Ralston, my yard friend, my Jamaican friend over there at the firm. With that said, let's see what Alan E.K. has got to say on immigration updates. Right here on the show with my attorneys, respectively, Adam Handler, Alexandra Bondakov, and now over to you, Alan E.K. Okay, <clears throat> let's start off with some news from ICE. Uh, some of it is good, some of it is not so good. The number of immigrants taken into custody by ICE officers fell more than 60% in February compared with the last three months of the Trump administration. Deportations fell by about the same amount, 60%. So good news for that. And this change basically shows that the Biden administration has been able to move forward with its plans to reshape immigration enforcement. Good news. Not such good news that we've learned that ICE has been using private data in interior in enforcement operations. And so they have used the private, private utility records to track down immigrants who are under investigation for immigration violations. And they have a contract with a database called CLEAR, which contains the names, addresses, employment records, vehicle registration, and criminal histories of more than 400 million US residents. So ICE can, if ICE is looking for you, they've got, they're working through this CLEAR place, which has the records of uh, data from uh, Equifax and other private institutions. And that's where ICE will be getting information that would otherwise require them to get a warrant. This way they wouldn't need a warrant. And so not such good news. Okay, next. Um, for those of you who have a removal proceeding pending, uh, you don't have a date yet. You're not detained. We're dealing with one of the three immigration courts in New York, uh, in downstate New York. They keep pushing the date back and back and back. So the latest date for hearings is April 16th, 2021. And that keeps getting pushed back and back and back. We don't know when they're really going to start. So if you have a removal proceeding, you're not detained. You don't have a date. You're waiting for a date. They keep pushing the date back when they will start to move on that. So not such great news. Okay, let's talk about what's going on with American consulates and <clears throat> scheduling interviews for people who are waiting for interviews for immigrant visas at American consulates, including Kingston, Jamaica. And one of my colleagues has basically said, this is a complete and utter mess. The numbers, she says, are scary. And she said it could be months, even years, before all the cases that are waiting for appointments can get scheduled unless something drastic changes. And so if you look at the numbers, in 2019, 240,000 cases were pending at the National Visa Center waiting for them to schedule appointments. In 2020, 371,000 cases waiting at the National Visa Center to be scheduled. 
2021, 330,000, somewhere up to 473,000 cases waiting to be scheduled. And so the problem is there's a backlog at the consular staff posts. They don't have a lot of staff. Um, and so how the Department of State is gonna go through this and how they're gonna dig into the, all these cases for people who are waiting their appointments to be scheduled is gonna be a big, big problem. So as they say, uh, the, uh, they're prioritizing at American consulates certain cases uh, which, get, which get priority, but the problem is that this is gonna take a long, long time. Uh, it's not such good news. Uh, maybe a little bit of good news that pending in Congress is something called the Dream and Promise Act. The Dream and Promise Act will help uh, protect people who are dreamers, who are DACA people, protect them from deportation and give them an opportunity to stay in America if they meet certain requirements. So that's coming up to Congress. It's called the Dream and Promise Act. And uh, this will also have children who have aged out of status while their parents remain on non-immigrant visas, but they became over 21. So this American Dream and Promise Act is a good thing. Uh, we're looking forward to, to see some action on it. Uh, finally, uh, there's some really good stuff pending in the Immigration Act of 2021, which is put in by President Biden. Uh, it's pending in Congress. And some of the provisions in the American uh, Immigration Act of 2021 it will remove the three and 10 year bars, which is a very good thing because some people have been subject to the three and 10 year bar because they overstayed, because they came here illegally maybe and they never left. And so those people had to get a waiver of the three and 10 year bar before they went out to the consulate to get their immigrant visas. In the American Immigration Act of 2021, that it goes out, but there are a lot of really good things in President Biden's immigration bill. I don't think the whole bill is going to pass, but there are a lot of good things that may be taken out and passed separately. So we're looking for some of these these good provisions, and you know I'll go through some more as we Thanks, talk Bob. about these provisions. But let me go Thanks. back, to squeeze now, and I can come back later with some more news. Thank you so much, Professor Alan E.K. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the number for the firm, everyone that's out there tuning into 93.5 WVIP FM. I am David Squeezanicki, CEO of the Link Up Media Group of Companies since 1996. And this is one of the most powerful forums that we have on the radio station, 93.5 FM. Text everyone, tell them to tune in each and every single morning, get their immigration questions answered. They can go on Facebook. They can go on Adam's page, the Case Sandler's page. They can go on PPID's page, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the Seacoast page. They can come on my page, David Squeezanik. They, they can hear us talk about personal injury, immigration. Get your questions answered. But more importantly, call the firm directly. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-PPID-LAW. I'm going to hand the reins over to the case handler, the money man, all right? I'm going to let him demonstrate one of his true powerful success stories. Someone that he has helped, someone who got into an accident, someone who got hurt. And ladies and gentlemen, he fought tooth and nail to make sure he got the right compensation for them. Adam Handler, it's all yours, my brother. I think I need to hear a little bit from Alexandra though. She's, she's sitting there looking, you know, all attentive and good morning to you, Alexandra. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. All right. We just need to hear your voice. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she is not only a, a great- well, She's been smiling the whole time, you know? So yeah, that's a great good. attorney. She, I, I enjoy listening to Alan's updates. I learn something new every time I do, so. There you go. Uh, it's important that people hear your voice because, you know, when they call and get that free immigration consultation, most of the time or a lot of the time, um, it, it could be you on the other end. And I want to make sure that people know that they're in wonderful hands and, and with an attorney that's not only knowledgeable, but compassionate uh, and dedicated to the client. So good morning to you and thank you for all your hard work uh, that you do.
for the Thanks. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, I have to log off a little bit early because I do have a ten o'clock consultation. So all right. Well, good. One good, of your listeners. Will, good luck to you. I'll to speak I'll, with me. I'll, I'll talk PI for a minute and then we'll kick it back to you before you go. So I, I won't uh, I won't uh, keep you waiting too long. But squeeze it if it's okay with you. I just want to go back to the testimonial Tuesday we did a couple of days ago. It's just such a great case and uh, such a great client that um, I think it's worthy of a, a repeat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, listening on 93.5 FM, we thank you so much. There's other things you could uh, be doing and listening to right now, but you're here with us. It does mean everything to us, knowing that you're down with PPID and that you're down with the case handler and you're listening to this show. Uh, if you can go one step further, you know, join the people right now watching us live on Facebook. Check out the case handler on Facebook. Check out the case handler on Instagram. Every day I get notifications that I have new followers and new subscribers. And, and it really is some of the highlights of my day. Uh, check out the case handler on my social media platforms. Be connected to my practice. Don't take my word for it. Squeeze his word for it. The other DJs on this radio station that have endorsed me for so many years. Don't take their word for it. Take the word of those who unfortunately came before you that never expected in a million years um, that they'd ha they have that million dollar case or that five million dollar case and, and, and come upon such tragedy. Um, you know, we always say uh, bad things happen, unfortunately, to very, very good people. And you can never predict uh, an accident happening. You can't really prepare for an accident to happen. Um, you can prepare for natural, you know, disasters. You can have flashlights and batteries and water, but with respect to an accident, the only thing you can really do is prepare for your response. And I guess the question I have for you, ladies and gentlemen, listening right now, is what is your response going to be when that accident happens? Um, I certainly hope that your response is going to be dialing up the case handler, checking me out, letting me, um, you know, represent you and your family for that one and only shot at financial justice. And uh, speaking of that one and only shot at financial justice, let's talk about our testimonial Tuesday from this week. Again, a true life success story of somebody that came before you, never in a million years thought that they'd be injured, uh, got the injury, um, and then uh, gave us a call. Uh, if we can click here, I, I love this picture. Maybe I'm a sucker for the, gir for the girls because I've got three girls of my own. And Allison has uh, three girls. I believe she said three girls and two boys or two boys and two girls. I forget, but uh, a blessed family. And Allison is standing next to me. We took this picture only a few days ago. Um, Allison is standing next to me holding that check for $175,000 and flanked to the left and flanked to the right. Um, are her daughters, her lovely, lovely daughters that were super excited to come down and pick up this big check. And I told Allison, I said, listen, you're, you're walking out of this office with $175,000 settlement. You better do something nice for your girls. And uh, they, all, they all laughed, but I hope she took me seriously. I hope she took her lawyer's advice and either bought them a new bag or uh, a new coat or some new shoes, some, something nice. Um, to celebrate a wonderful, wonderful result. <clears throat> Squeeze, if you wouldn't mind reading that quote for me, um, that would be wonderful. Adam is really not nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Adam is really nice. He made me feel welcome and kept me updated all the time. The communication with Adam and his team has always been great. Even after my case was settled, he would call me just to check up on me. He did a fantastic job, but I would absolutely recommend him to anybody I know. Allison from Queens, New York. And that's what happens when people listen to 93.5 FM. They select one attorney, not another attorney. They select the case handler. The only man on this station with the last name handler. That's who your attorney should be. No one else when it comes to personal injury. So that's the reason why Allison selected the case handler, Adam Handler, your personal injury attorney and got settled with $175,000. Let's, let's just talk about the facts of this case real quick, because I think Al, uh, Alan and Alexandra will, 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 will get a kick out of this. this. This case is ridiculous, and I'll tell you why. It's just a, a perfect example of how you know, negligence causes an injury. Allison lives in an apartment building in Queens. This is about uh, two years ago, March 26th was the accident 2019 so two years ago you know the weather was just uh you know just like this but then it started dipping colder and colder and colder 
For reasons unknown, the building decides to test their sprinkler system at about 6 a.m., runs the sprinkler system all in the front of the building. All of a sudden, because the temperatures are below freezing, the water on the ground freezes, black ice everywhere. Allison, it's still dark out. She's walking to work. Um, she's walking down the front steps of her building and all of a sudden slips down and falls down the entire length of stairs, lands on her backside, lands on her back, lands on her shoulder, terrible injuries to her shoulder. Um, she actually had these huge bruises and welts all over her backside, which we have photos of, but I'm not gonna embarrass her and show the photos, but she really, really got mashed up there. Uh, and the picture you see here um, on uh, Facebook Live is uh, her laying on the ground, an innocent bystander, a, a good, uh, uh, not innocent bystander, a good Samaritan covered her with, with her jacket. And you see the, the, the EMS worker there, you know, with the, with the uh, blue rubber gloves yeah. giving her medical attention. Um, her family knew about my show um, she, they actually heard me uh, broadcasting on Ivy Jam with DJ Roy and they had my number saved and they locked it in and they gave us a call and uh, less than two years later, $175,000 settlement um, for Allison. I mean, you can see we, we uh, uh, blurred out her face just to protect her privacy. But, you know, this is the kind of things that makes the case evidence photographs, police reports, medical records, witness statements, evidence, evidence, evidence wins the case. And that's why we always say, if God forbid you're in an accident, you know, try your best to document how the accident happened. Have somebody take a picture or you take a picture yourself. Um, that's really how these cases are one squeeze. Uh, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever that if you slip and fall or trip and fall on a defect, that we shouldn't have a picture of what you fell on. It's just as easy as taking out a cell phone and snapping a photo. So thrilled for Allison, thrilled for her girls, thrilled for the firm. Um, just another case handler um, with a, uh, a, a wonderful result and a, and a happy client. That's what I'm talking about. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning into the station, if you're watching us on Facebook, either way, I need for you to dial the number right now. Okay, I would love for you to have the number of an excellent, phenomenal personal injury attorney. God forbid if you get hurt in New Jersey or New York. The number right now that you should dial, let it ring 10, 15 seconds, is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-PPID-LAW. Adam Adler is an attorney with the firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. Make sure you reach out to him, ladies and gentlemen, if and when you do get hurt in an accident. It's time to flip to immigration, where we have our immigration attorneys, Alan E.K., who gave the immigration updates earlier. And we've got Alexandra Bondikoff, another top attorney at the firm, ready to answer some quick questions here before we get to the top of the hour. Uh, once again, thank you all for tuning in. Remember to share. Remember to join the newsletter by emailing news at ppid.com. That's news at ppid.com. Or filling out the form with the link that is on the Facebook page. Let's jump to the first question right here for Ms. Bondakov, for the, one of the top immigration attorneys at the firm. It says here, last year, I got married to my childhood sweetheart in Jamaica. Congratulations. He lives in America and was previously married and divorced. I went to America for the honeymoon a week after we got married. My husband picked me up at the airport and dropped me off at the house. Since then, I have not seen or heard from him. I called his phone and he has changed the number. I came back to Jamaica two weeks later. What do you suggest I do now? Is it too early for a divorce? Please let me know how to move forward. I'm stressed out over the whole situation. Man, you can't make this stuff up. This is a, a terrible, <laughs> terrible situation. Unfortunately, I, I can't give any advice. This, this, this has nothing to do with immigration at this point. Precisely. I would say it's not too early for a divorce. And you might want to, she might want to consider an annulment, meaning that there really wasn't a marriage in the first place. So it, we shouldn't be talking to us because we're immigration lawyers. We should be talking to a matrimonial lawyer. And if you want to get in touch with us, we'll be happy to refer you to a good matrimonial lawyer. Absolutely. And, and that's a great point, Alan. You know, we say we're a full service law firm. Um, you know, we handle major, major areas of law. Obviously, there are some areas that we don't handle, but we have wonderful attorneys that we will refer you to, you know, um, 
So it really is uh, important that you guys give us a call, no matter what your legal issue is, because either we can help you or we can certainly point you in the right direction. Okay, and uh, good luck to you and your relationship. In my next life, I'm going to do a sitcom. All right, uh, let's go to the next question here. Can a green card be renewed through the embassy in Jamaica if the, if the holder is stuck there? No, no. Um, it, it really depends on the situation. How long has the green card um, been expired? In certain circumstances, uh, they would let you board a plane with an expired green card and CBP will let you in. But again, it really depends on how long has it been since the expiration of the green card and what the circumstances of that stay was. If it's just COVID related, then there's a chance. If it's been three years prior to COVID, you know, there's other things that could be done, but that's a, a, a perfect example of uh, somebody who needs to call going. So give us a call. We'll do a consultation, discuss how we can get you back. Okay. And once again, the phone number is 844 844- 774-3529, that's 844-PPID-LAW, 844-774-3529, that's 844-774-3529, make the link, make the connection. All right, here's another question here. If you are a U.S. citizen and your child was born in Jamaica, would the child also be a U.S. citizen? We had a, a, a similar question like this a few days ago. There's a good chance. Yeah, I think Alan can answer this question. <laughs> there's a good chance that your child will also be a U.S. citizen. Uh, you may want to talk to the con- consulate in Kingston. Maybe better you should come and talk to us for consultation. But I, I think there's a good chance that your child already is a U.S. citizen. All right. Okay. So once again, if you're in doubt, as a matter of fact, I think you should just have the attorney's handle. Just give a phone call. All right. The consultation is free. What's the number? 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-PPID-LAW. I suggest that everyone that's listening, watching, call before the top of the hour. Dial the number for the firm. 844-774-3529. Here's the final question. I already have a student visa, but I will be changing schools. Should I reapply for another visa or can I just have my I-20 updated? Depends on where you are. If you're here in the United States, you yeah, file, that's where they are. file an application with USCIS to enable you to change schools. You don't need a new visa stamp in the passport, but you have to talk, deal with USCIS and get permission to change schools. If I could just interject for a second. Yeah. Um, so once, he, once the person enters on F1 visa, right? Uh, the governing document is called an I-20. This is the eligibility record that's being issued by, by each school. And if somebody wants to transfer schools, it's done internally through CIVAS and the new school would issue an I-20. There's no need to file a new application with USCIS. If the F-1 visa is still valid and they need to travel, they can reuse that. Got you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to, of course, Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on immigration and personal injury. I want to say thanks to all of the attorneys who have done this with me over the past year. Do remember that every one of us need the number of an excellent full-service law firm. That firm happens to be Paula Paul, Isaac, and Seco. Before I conclude, the best information I can give you is not only the phone number, but and not only to get a free consultation, but hire the firm. Work out a payment plan with them. Get things going. Right. Once again, the number is 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I'll let you have the last 30 seconds, Adam Handler. Hey, listen, there's a difference here. Apollo, Apollo, guys, like this ego. There's a difference with the case handler. You know, you may hear other lawyers on this radio station, maybe even in a few seconds, but think very carefully about the type of lawyer you want representing you and your family. Do you want a practicing attorney? the actual individual working on your case when you call that phone number. I highly suggest you think that over before you dial. Our name is Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico. Our phone number is 844-774-3529, 844-PPID. You all have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Take care, folks. Thank you, attorneys. Have a great day. Here we go. It's 10 o'clock.